So last year we when we changed the the mascot and a few other things that changed we had this it was just a dark dark wall that uh, was related to um, something they used to do in the past here and so it needed to be changed anyway and so I was talking to the librarian about it and she said it used to have this nice mural so um, the thought came to me that uh, I know that Sterling Scholars is always looking for projects. I reached out to Mr. Sweeney and to see if it was something they would be interested in in doing. Um, and so we met all of the Sterling Scholars here and kind of talked about the vision for having a, you know an area that represented all of the different areas, different ways that we gain knowledge, you know, different kinds of knowledge. And so she then went to work, Amelia then put in the work to develop on a computer program this this design and started to, to put it actually into to practice. Um, how I got inspiration to do this was, it, this is based off of all of the uh, Sterling Scholars different se sections and categories. So starting at the left there is the artist and then it goes up to the business person. Um, then it goes on to the dancer who has a prosthetic leg. Unfortunately there's a grate so her head got cut off but um, that's our dancer. Then it goes up to the uh, technology and film. Uh, below is the programming. And next to her is the uh, musician. And then kind of around him, we have uh, the agriculture. I, I didn't know a person to put up there, so I, I put uh, a grain field and a tree. Um, then it moves on to the uh, artist. And above her, the world with the podium on top symbolizes our social studies. Next to her is the mathematician and below that is the politician, uh, and above him is the, uh, the graduate slash teacher. Um, next to that is the scientist, and then above him is our, um, our facts, specifically cooking. Below that is our uh, music, uh, music and uh, audio performance, and then the flags around there symbolize our world languages. So it was kind of a, an idea we started with the dream of putting a mural back and then she took it and ran with it and she's worked tremendously hard she would bring it to me and we'd make a few suggestions and she'd fix them and then finally we came and started uh, putting it on the wall and we started September of 2020 um, so it's been it's been about a six month six month uh, process. I think it's close to 200 hours on this. The next step will be as I would like her to to maybe build, create something that would explain to the students what it represents and that's the next project I'm going to work on with her. Mm -hmm.